Oh, hello. This is uh, hello again. Uh, this is just to show you uh, after you set up your Tini SA, uh, you need to install it uh, outdoor. So the rule generally, I notice if it's too close, the measurement is not relevant. It, you, uh, you will have uh, uh, not uh, an accurate measurement. And basically, re regarding radio engineering, normally uh, the um, the generator, the RF generator, should be installed about three to four wavelengths apart from the antenna. In fact, uh, uh, let's say four wavelengths, it will be the perfect distance. So I set up everything. So I am on a 10 meters band. So currently, I am uh, beaming uh, 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 the back of the antenna is towards uh, the generator. So here you notice uh, I am almost at the noise level. It's minus uh, one zero uh, two three. Uh, it's, um, be, be, basically, it's totally almost mute. You can see the here the 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 carrier. So now I'm going to move. Uh, oh, there is some spear also somewhere. Uh, you, I, I'm going to move now the antenna towards. Uh, uh, the generator, the TNESA. So I am about minus uh, 102104. And let's move now. You see, start to increase. Yeah. Yeah, you see, uh, there is a, it's the radiation pattern of the antenna. Now I'm going towards the generator, almost reached there. Yeah, I guess I am, uh, I am there. So you see, it's about minus uh, 82. Uh, previously, uh, the back of the antenna uh, uh, towards the generator was minus uh, uh, 102 to 104, so it's more than 20. Uh, 20 dB of attenuation, so it's quite quite good, in fact. So what you can do if you don't have this value, let's say you start from the beginning, you put towards the antenna, you beam towards the antenna, uh, uh, towards the generator, the antenna, uh, so you have a level, let's say it's minus uh, 82, you set up like that, you, you keep it like that, you go to the antenna, and you move the stub. Put more land, less land, and you should see here the level should uh, be uh, minus or plus. And according with the optimal level, you leave it like that. So be careful because sometimes uh, you can have, you need to uh, make a compromise because sometimes you have uh, more gain. That means you have, uh, let's say, I adjust the stub according with this example. I managed to reach uh, minus. Uh, um, 79, let's say, for example, and you will go uh, 180 degrees and you, you will notice that maybe you have less attenuation from the back. So sometimes it can happen and you need to find a compromise. More attenuation or more gain or in between. It's up to you uh, according with your adjustment. So this is a quick presentation. Of course, you need to do that for all the bands. So you can do that alone with a teeny essay. You don't need to, to, to bring a lot of people to assist you. Only one guy can do that. If you have a, a space or you can ask your neighbor if you can install your teeny essay on your place. Because as I say, be careful. If it's too close from the antenna, the, the, the measurement is not accurate and relevant. So this is, uh, that's all. Uh, it's quite simple, in fact. And uh, I wish you a happy setup with your cubical quad antenna. My best 73. Show you uh, how to set up the, the Tini SA. Uh, so I bought uh, this device uh, quite a long time ago. I think uh, three, three years, maybe four years. Maybe but I cannot remember. So it's quite simple. In fact, I, I hope I can, uh, I can do it uh, with uh, one hand because I, <laughs> I'm holding the, the camera, the, the, the phone on the other hand. So, okay, you just need to switch on. So you have uh, some menu. So I'm going to, to show you some menu. You have one menu you can use. You go to mode. 
low out. Here, you touch nothing, or you can adjust the level, but uh, uh, it's up to you according with your receive level. So you set up the frequency you want to use here, up, and 28, for example, on transmit. We can say generate, uh, transmit. So all the other parameters, I leave it like that. There is no special need to, to move the, uh, the other parameter. Obviously, you use the, the, the tiny antenna provided by the, the tiny essay. You hook it here, simply like that. You put it vertical or whatsoever. On, uh, you, you, you just need to install the tiny essay uh, close to uh, close, not so close to the antenna, in, a, in, a, in a, the suitable range, about four wavelengths apart from the antenna. And you start your measurement, and you, you can start your stub for the reflector on the driver adjustment. So this is quite simple. You don't need another guy with a, a transmitter uh, to tune, uh, to make some carrier and tune on some frequency. You can do it if you have some friend not so far from your place. You can do it with uh, one friend. But since the tiny essay can do that, I do it with the tiny essay. I do all my antenna uh, adjustment with the, the tiny essay is quite, uh, is quite uh, convenient. So, okay, that's all for the tiny essay setup. So, this is just to, to show you uh, how to connect the stop. So, this is what I put in the website. So, the, um, the stub connector, the reflector connector, this is a ki uh, uh, kitchen uh, cooking uh, shopping, uh, shopping board. I cut it, of course. Here, you have the two reflectors, you know, from your square, you know, the two, uh, the two wire. On here, you have the, the stub. So I make it purpose, on purpose quite long, uh, just for the demo. So I make this tiny connector, you know, a special connector with a... Uh, I make some soldering. It's quite easy to solder. I use that, you know. And I solder all together. So you just need to put it here. Okay. I need... Uh, sorry about that. I need to screw. So I, I found it, it's much easier to do like that. Uh, otherwise, you know, with the screw uh, for the connector, it's not very easy. It's not very easy. So here is far better. So I put it like that. Sorry about that, the camera. I hook it inside the hole. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't prepare, you know. Do it very quickly. You put inside. Ah, sorrow. Gosh. Okay. So you make it like that. Of course, it's a screw. You need to tight it nicely. Hold on. I'm going to tight. Okay, it's tight. And you modify the line like that, on, uh, according to uh, what we, uh, I showed you before. You just need to uh, adjust the line, more line or less line. And when it's done, you can leave it, uh, this little uh, connector, or you just uh, cut it at the correct line and hook it proper, properly on the, um, on the plate uh, connector for the reflector. So that's all. It's quite simple. It, uh, everything is possible. I'm sure people got some uh, uh, other idea on other way to, to do it. But I found it uh, quite uh, convenient to do like that because especially you can uh, easily, you know, uh, slide it, you know, in order to make some adjustment. It's more convenient. So it's uh, far more convenient. So that's all. This is for the stud adjustment. So you can do exactly the same for, for the driver. You can make a, a kind of plate connector like that. This is what I did for the 20 meters band. And I make, a, I put a two, two uh, studs and I adjust, of course, at the identical line, the two stud, in order to find the correct dip on the maximum gain for the, for the antenna. For the other band, I don't need to put a stub for the driver. I just put stub for the, for the reflector only. So all the reflector got a stub like that at different land so um, it's after it's according with uh, the land of your effector on the the resonant frequency of your of your driver also so base 73 this is uh, the end of this uh, presentation i hope it can help uh, 
you guys uh, uh, for the, the antenna building on mostly the antenna setup and fine tuning. Bye bye 73. This is a Victor 85 November Papa Victor. See you soon on the air, guys. Bye bye.